That's just me, because I'm crazy. Ah. Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? So recently, I just changed rooms just because I felt kind of bored filming the same room always. And if you guys do like it, let me know in the comment box below. If you guys don't like it, then I'll go back to my old spot. Um, so today's video is just going to be some FAQs that I've compiled through YouTube comments and other social medias in which I totally know that I've been off my social media game a lot, which I'll probably explain later on in my video here. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight to it. So you guys have asked for it for a bajillion times and I've always kind of dissuaded myself from answering because I didn't want to give it away yet. And if the title doesn't give it away, then I'll say it right now, which is what is Space Sharp X3? <sighs> So initially, my whole YouTube channel was for my family and friends just to see what I'm doing across different countries and I really initially never gave any thought of what my username should have been but uh, knowing me, I just kind of based it on the things I was doing then and if you guys do know that I played a lot of video games when I was young and I put some vlog where I play Overwatch and whatnot but this was no exception either. I mean, I played a lot of this game called S4 League and I don't know if it's still existent but I played a lot competitively and I played a lot of tournaments from that and from there, it inspired my username. We had this mask I called a space rabbit in the pet section from the cash shop. And um, it would do these kind of cool snazzy dances and plus it was ultra cute that I just had to put it in my name as a, I don't know, 12 or 13 year old <laughs> making these videos. And then that's part one of space rabbit right there. The X3 is different. There's a, there's a reason why I put X3. And now part two of it. So back in my day, we didn't have Discord or Skype and the Facebook UI was just terrible at that time. So we had this thing called MSN. And oh my God, it's very cringe because everyone used emoticons. They didn't use those lame stickers. Well, the friends I knew didn't use those cash aid stickers you would post and put GIFs inside because that was pretty lame. You would make emoticons. And you know, sometimes it would be like the shift six underscore shift six or the equal sign period equal sign or the semicolon three. Mine was the X3 because I thought it was edgy and cute, <laughs> which I regret. But I used it quite often in my age, like 13 or something. I kept typing a lot like X3. So for example, a lot of my things in conversation would be like, see you then, X3, or have a good night, X3. So it was pretty much the X3 was the thing for me. So I merged the name Space Rabbit and X3 together, and that's how I created Space Rabbit X3. So now you know, two cringy things in my life put together my username. Explains a lot about who I am right now. <laughs> um, so if you guys do follow me initially on social media with my YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and whatever, whatnot, you guys do know I was super dead for the whole summer and I have a good reason to explain that. Uh, a few videos back where I explained my frustration with internships and how I never got any replies back. Well, I did get one after. So a few days after that video, I did get an email back from an internship company and they're like, hey, we'd like to put you in and blah, 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 blah. And I totally took it and I was really happy for the whole summer, but um, took a lot of my time and whatnot. But if I could summarize it, I would say it was fun, a bit hectic. I made a lot of new friends there and I was really happy with it overall. So yeah, I'm so sorry about that, but that's the reason why I was gone for so long. I will try my best to post more on social media for sure. So yeah. <clears throat> so next, uh, one of my conference videos, um, you guys mentioned if I had any insecurities or struggles. And I'm gonna let you guys know that I have tons, I have many, but I keep it all in my heart. And I just bury it in and just cry every day with it. But seriously, um, I guess one of my things I can share is that uh, I really struggle with, it would be, um, my grades and my portfolio. That's because I'm ending my last year soon in post-secondary, but I really want to pursue higher education. So I'm really stressing out if I'll do well, if I'll pass, and we'll see where it takes me. I mean, I really don't mind what I'm going to be doing, but I really hope I have a good direction or something. But um, nevertheless though, I will give my best and all I can. And I hope that for anyone who's struggling with insecurities and struggles, I'm cheering for you and I hope that you can do it too. So my favorites this month, and I've been hesitant to do favorite videos because that means it has to be updated monthly and I'm not too sure if I have any favorites for you guys monthly, but if I could list some things right now that are my favorites, then I can. So first on my list is Crazy Rich Agents by Kevin Kwan. And a short synopsis with this book without spoiling too much is that this couple named Rachel Chu and this male uh, Nicholas Young, Rachel Chu is in an ABC and Nicholas Young is an immigrant who lives in Asia but is getting his education in America. Rachel does not know that Nick is from a rich wealthy family and he invites her to come over to his country where basically all his friends and families are really rich and part of the 1% in Asia and through this she goes and faces a lot of discrimination with being 
kind of not the higher class and their family looks down upon her, but we'll just see how she pushes through. I haven't finished a book, so I really hope for the best and that's just not spoiling too much. And there are some side stories here and there which I'm really enjoying and yeah. So my next favorite this month is Takagure, which basically is about a gambling anime with this female who is probably so amazing at gambling. And at first you may think, oh it's so bad, it's pretty boring, but actually it's so intricate in how she's able to think that hard. Basically there's this private academy with a lot of elite and wealthy students, and one day this new girl comes in who has a sense of gambling and loves to gamble, and basically she helps this dude who has a lot of debt to get out of debt and now she wants to gamble and face the student council which are practically evil and want to control your life so yeah <laughs> hey everyone so that is the end of the video i hope you guys do enjoy my faq there and my throat is killing me but whatever <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoy my video of catching up with me which is basically what uh school and security struggles and favorites and whatnot it's been a mess i know but thank you guys for watching the video and staying with me guys and i know i don't post often but i do try and if you guys could uh please like share and subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye